nuclear reactors that is nuclear reactor in nuclear plants to produce electrical energy so nuclear reactor produces tremendous amount of energy through nuclear fissions so nuclear reactor we use nuclear fission so we do not use nuclear fusions because nuclear fusion is difficult to achieve and difficult to be controlled and the energy release in this uh, nuclear fission is used to heat water and the water becomes steam and the steam is used to drive the turbines of the generator to produce electric to, to produce electricity I'll, I'll show you the illustrations of the nuclear reactors okay so this is an illustration of the nuclear reactors and from here we can see that there's three parts eh? okay now this is the reactor the, the reactor is inside the concrete wall eh? it's a concrete wall okay inside this concrete wall we have this uh, nuclear reactor okay and then we have a generator here okay a turbine with a generator okay this is to produce electricity and uh, this nuclear reactor it generates large amount of heat eh? and uh, this heat must be disposed or else it will explode so then we, we need to have a cooling system okay cooling systems we have this a condenser water and a cooling tower okay so there's there's three parts in this nuclear reactor a new nuclear plant okay if you have a nuclear reactor we have the generators and then we have this a cooling system the cooling tower now first of all let's have a look at the reactor first okay you need to know the functions of each part of the nuclear plant eh? okay uh the very very important things in this nuclear reactor is the uranium rod uh, act as the fuel that is where the energy come from so okay the orange colors rod here is the uranium rod so we bombard neutrons with the uranium rod here and then the chain reactions occurs and it releases energy but if this energy is not controlled then too much energy is released and it will explode okay so we must have something to control so that not too much energy is released eh? if too much energy released then it's like a, a nuclear bomb uncontrolled nuclear reactions okay will will cause uh, these uh, huge explosions like the nuclear bomb eh? so we must have something to control so that the chain reaction does not occur too fast and this is done by the graphite moderators okay you can see that there's a black rod here okay so this is the graphite moderators to slow down the motions of the neutrons and so that the neutrons are from here okay the neutron from here when it goes to here okay it, it will become very slow so that uh, the the chain reactions does not occur too fast then we can control the amount of heat release so the graphite moderators is to control okay i'll show you this okay so the graphite moderators are to slow down by collision with the nuclei in the moderators eh? so they can cause further fissions now another another control uh, device is the control rod let's say if something occurs and uh, there's still too much energy release okay or you if you or maybe you want to stop the reactor okay you want to stop the reactors or too or you want to slow down okay but the, the graphite is not enough eh? okay to slow down the reactions uh, then we have this control rod okay control rod uh, is made of borons eh? so you, we can lower down we can lower down this control rod so that it, it will block okay you go down here uh, it, it will block uh, the uh, this uh, uranium the neutrons of the uranium from here to reach here okay and each uranium is lower than the critical mass if it's blocked then uh, the chain reactions will slowly uh, stop because the mass here is less than the critical critical mass eh? so if it's blocked then the, the the neutron here cannot go here okay then uh, the reactions will gradually stop eh? okay so that's the functions of the control rod okay uh, graphite moderators to slow down the neutrons and the control rod is the uh, totally stop the reactions okay if necessary okay now then a huge amount of energy is released here that is there is carbon dioxide gas here okay so the carbon dioxide we pump the carbon dioxide gas go into the reactor to collect the heat and then the very very hot carbon dioxide gas go to this a heat exchanger and at this at this heat exchanger the carbon dioxide gas will heat the water and the water becomes steam 
and the steam is then drive the turbine, rotate the turbines here, and uh, the turbine is then uh, rotates. Uh, in, if you still remember, okay, the AC generators and DC generator. Okay, this is this AC generator. Okay, so there is a magnet here. Okay, there's a magnet here. There's a coil here. Okay, so the turbine will rotate the coil, and the coil will cut the magnetic field. Uh, then uh, alternating current is produced. The alternating current then is sent to uh, the pylon, and the pylons, the pylons here, okay, will send the uh, with the cables, okay, will send the electricity to your house, and the steam with a very high amount of energy, okay, uh, will go to the condenser, and then in this condenser we have large amounts of water to absorb the heat from the steam, okay. After absorb the heat from the steam, then this uh, water will go to the cooling tower to release the heat. It will go to the cooling tower to release all the heat. Okay, the heat is released here. Then after steam, the, the, the heat of the steam release, then it will become water again. And the water is pumped to the heat exchanger and then it's heat to, uh, to form the steam again. Okay, and then the steam will drive the turbines again. Okay, this process repeat and repeat and repeat again. Uh, from here we can see that uh, we need a large amounts of water. To cool, to cool down the reactors. So therefore, usually uh, this nuclear plant is next to either a lake or a river, okay, or sometimes a sea, okay, because we need, uh, we we need it. We need large amounts of water to cool the reactor. So that is the functions of the steam generators and turbine and uh, the thick concrete wall. Okay, another thing that you need to know is why we need a thick concrete wall here because after the reactions, it produces a radioactive substance. So to prevent uh, these uh, harmful radiations, okay, so we use the thick concrete wall to block the radiations. So we, we need thick concrete wall, a few meters. Uh, this concrete wall is not like your house. Your house is just a few cm, okay? This concrete wall, the thickness is a few meter. And then uh, coolant is the water, okay? We use the water to cool down the steam, eh? to absorb the energy from the steam and then send it to the cooling tower.